so holy, Jesus, you You are holy. If you could tell us your name and where you are from. Glenda Saitamel, and I am from West Richland. So how did you come here today for our deliverance service? Well, I was heading to church, but church ended up being closed. So I ended up coming over here. So as you were through prayer line, the demon spoke out and said, I want to kill her kids. It said, I am in a box and you can free me. Can you elaborate a little bit more of what also um, the demon spoke out and said? When you get deliverance, I don't recall all of that, but I know that I felt like I was in a box. And in that box, I could never get out, but I've had deliverance before and it was the Spirit of the Lord, the wind came around me and he delivered me. But this time it was like, I knew I was in a box and I could not come out of it. And I didn't know what, how to get out of it. I would ask Jesus to help me get come out of that box. Wow, so what are some things that you dealt with before your deliverance here today? Every time I go to work, I'd be afraid to be in front of people. I'd be afraid, I feel like I didn't fit in. I feel like um, I was not free. Even in family gatherings, I didn't feel free. So we were talking a little bit before, and we were talking about um, how the demon spoke out, and it said your grandma killed thousands of babies through abortion, correct? Um, and the spirit of death. Do you want to elaborate a little bit more, like, background-wise on that? I was a, a baby, and my mother died when I was two. So I had... I just kind of heard some of the family member, members speak about my grandmother doing stuff like that, giving home abortions. My mom died of that. She was one of them. So I was kind of numb on uh, abortions. I was kind of numb on death. It didn't mean nothing to me. What are you hopeful for going into this next season of your life now that you have your freedom and that you were delivered here today? Being a Christian and being delivered Sometimes we feel like, okay, I'm a Christian. There's nothing wrong with me. But there's some things that you do, like kind of even walking in circles that, yes, you do need deliverance. You have to be honest with yourself and you will be set free. I don't feel like I'm in a box anymore. I feel free. I feel right now, I just want to hug the world. <laughs> I'm free. <laughs> and I have so much joy. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Lord. I'm very happy. <laughs> I feel like I've won the lottery, even more than the lottery. The Lord is so precious. Um, I'm so free. What's some advice that you would give anybody else who is in your situation of, you know, um, coming to a deliverance service? What would you advise them to do? I advise you to be honest and know that there's freedom and the freedom will give you more life and more room for the Lord and the Holy Spirit to come in and grow inside of you that you may be able to go out and help other people. And the joy is, is un, it's, there's no words for the joy. It's like so beautiful. It's, it's wonderful. And I, I thank everyone that prayed for me. Amen. Praise Jesus. Thank you so much.